Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to highlight duplicate values using Excel. So let me load up Excel and I need some data. So I'm just going to get some data from the database. I'm just going to copy the first name for the purpose of this demonstration. And so what I've done is I've just pasted it into Excel. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of the data and I'm just going to format it as a table. You don't actually have to do this. I just find that if you format data as a table in Excel, it makes dealing with that data, sorting that data and filtering that data just that little bit easier. So let me select, say, this one here. That will do. Um, now what we want to do is we want to highlight the data in question and then we want to click on conditional formatting. If we scroll down to highlight cells, rules, and then click on duplicate values and click, well at this point you can actually go ahead and uh, you could select unique if you wanted to and kind of highlight the duplicate values in reverse but obviously for the purpose of this demonstration we want to click on duplicate which just so happens to be the default selected and likewise you can go ahead and you can select a different color or indeed select a custom format if you want and so you can decide what color and border you want to choose to highlight those duplicate values but in this instance I'm literally going to leave it on the default which is light red fill with a dark red text so with that said let's click on OK and as you can see we've got some data highlighted however the data isn't in ascending order so let's go ahead and make our life a little bit easier and this is where actually viewing the uh, the, the data as a table formatting uh, the data as a table comes in useful because you get all of these different options here to go ahead and manipulate the data. So let's just say sort in ascending order. And as you can see, we have actually highlighted three different names. We've got Alexander, we've got John and Karen. So the good thing about this is if, for example, you were to change the text in a row and click off, it'll automatically remove the highlighting. And with that said, just a quick one today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video for me. That really helps the YouTube algorithm and other people like yourself find this video. And hopefully they'll find it useful too. Likewise, if you wanna see similar content to this in the future, consider subscribing. It is a great way to support the channel and really helps me. And with that said, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.